Thank you. Uh, in uh, today's present Nigeria, mm. everybody is talking about our division. We're talking about culturally, socially, politically, economically. We are more divided at, at any other time. And in that essence, what we need now is somebody who can unite mm. us together mm. from the north and the south, culturally, socially, even in terms of our educational pursuit as a nation. And so there's no doubt that what is needed as of today in Nigeria is somebody who can play that role. And I'm grateful that my parents are from the northern and the southern part of the country. Oh, it's, which it's a mix. is the mm. reason why I actually come mm. out as the platform called The Bridge. But apart from that as well, Ben Television, when we started, our eaters is bridging the gap, mm. which means we're bridging the gap between the black community mm. and the Western community, between Africa and Europe. Most so, and the sole reason why the station started is because of Nigeria. Mm. The negative stories around black people mm created that tension that if something happens somewhere, so long it's not positive, then people tag the person to be a Nigerian. Mm. And I told well, surely enough, we are not what people classify us to be. Right. So the best thing I can do is go into that industry. And of course, when I started, I have no experience whatsoever mm. in media or communication or handling mm. cameras. Right. But then I end up being the person that founded that platform okay. that then bridged our community and society. So Nigeria as of today, definitely, mm. without any doubt, you need mm. somebody who can bridge that divide that we have been experiencing. Very good. Now, talking about experiencing, a whole lot of people out there might say, okay, Alice, uh, Ali rather, mm -hmm. is not um, too experienced regarding politics and is going to uh, engage a whole lot of uh, political juggernauts who are already there and uh, have uh, decades of experience. So how would you, you know, counter that? Well, the difference between I mm -hmm. and the other people is the other people, they stood for election and mm -hmm. they elected. Right. But somehow I have been playing a major role mm. from 2000 at least okay. in all the political uh, dispensation that has been taking place in this country. Mm. Most of as well have played a major role in the European election, UK election. So I have the combination of both worlds. And during the campaign here, including even the present administration, mm. I've fully participated from world level, local mm. government level, state level, and nationally. Mm. I was at the, at the primaries of the presidential candidate. I sat through the night, we slept in, in this venues, so I have participated, and all those, most of mm. the governors that are in position, mm -hmm. one way or another, I have related with them, I have mm. mixed with them, I know what they do politically. Mm. But here we're talking about, you know, and the politics mm. have been elected, and politics have never been elected. Mm. That's the difference, but leadership is across all board, and okay. this is the, the difference I'm bringing about the quality of leadership that people are experiencing as of today, mm. and what we can offer, which mm. is totally different. We have never been mixed, we found one mm. thing in the situation of what Nigerians attack uh, negative angle. Right. Uh, we have focused on how we can strengthen Nigeria as a nation. Okay. We have focused on how we can empower our community and our people, mm -hmm. either abroad, in the diaspora, mm -hmm. and more so at home. I have mental thousands of youth mm -hmm. in what to do and how to develop this. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind that I, I was coming from a rural village or a small village called Kazina, mm -hmm. transverse into uh, Lagos, play football, uh, I, what I study is agriculture, mm -hmm. and then going to Europe without any experience and yet setting up something that has never been done by anybody. Yeah. So coming back home, I know Nigeria inside out mm. uh, because I am always at home. All right. uh, so I mingle, and as I say, I work with the politicians who were elected, and once in a while we share All experience right. of leadership. Okay, very good. Now, uh, you know, I'm so sure a whole lot of people don't know what you just uh, told us and uh, be a surprise to uh, so many people out there, but uh, it's about 10, uh, roughly 10 months uh, to the elections. Sure. What platform are you running? Before today, mm -hmm. uh, we have a movement called the Yes Nigeria Movement. Okay. The movement basically has been going around the country uh, educating the electorate, telling them that actually they have the authority right. of governance more than the people that they feel they are elected to be in office. Okay. Your term is your authority, and you use that term to vote the people in either way. So we have been doing that educational series, village to village, especially in the northern part of the country. Mm. And with that, we found a lot of responses. Mm. And it's out of the responses telling people that Whichever party you want mm. to go for, go for it, but make sure that at least the credible candidate within that party are allowed to run. Okay, so sorry, that means you don't have a platform currently that you're... I have, you're uh, yes, I do not have a platform what, because why I have is the, that? the final leg of our registration, okay. because we have process, mm. and it has to go through that process. But how, Nevertheless, how would you gauge people's response to what you've just said? 
Presently, mm -hmm. uh, I think almost 80% of the people have already declared All right. they actually do not have a platform, or rather they have not yet said they are with a political party. Okay. I am no difference, but the fact is I know I have a platform, which is the Yes Nigeria, okay. and then at the same time, even before today, or mm -hmm. before my declaration, there has been political parties who have been speaking with us, All right. speaking to me directly as well, that we need your kind of person in this election. Mm -hmm. The truth of the matter as well is, if you're not standing, you can never be considered. Mm -hmm. So if the only candidate are standing are the people that Nigeria say they don't want, but there's no alternative. Mm -hmm. So you can't blame whoever it is that is standing for election 2019. Mm -hmm. Now we're giving Nigerians the option. They say, here we are, consider us. We're saying, we, I'm the bridge between the North and mm -hmm. the South. I'm the bridge between Nigeria and Africa. I'm the bridge between Nigeria and the two uh, and the $22 billion mm. remittance is coming mm. from the diaspora as a former chairman of the Nigerian diaspora mm. organization. Mm. I know what the youth want. Mm. If it is in sport, there is no other candidate that would be standing mm. that know the sport more than I do. If it is the entertainment industry which allow Nigeria to become one of the largest economies on the African continent, mm. no candidate can tell me that they have engaged the entertainment industry, the music industry, or the artistic industry in this country more than I have. Mm. Is but, it true? Yeah, 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 but people are still going to be worried that, uh, look, is, 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 are you going on an independent uh, candidature because that's not... It's not uh, allowed yet. Yes, it's, it's not really a tradition here in Nigeria regarding that. So probably that's the perception they will have of you. What do you make well, of that? Well, the perception is really if you follow the trend of the 2015 election, mm. people were not really going with a political party. They were going with a candidate profile. Right. 2019 is not going to be any different. What is going to happen in 2019 is you're going to have a two basket, okay. whereby you have the professional politician in basket A, that's okay. the way I call it, All right. and the emerging leaders in basket B. The question is to the Nigerian people, okay. are you going to stick with the same people when now you have an option, or are you going to consider the option B, All right. which is the emerging leaders? Mm. And we're not just emerging leaders, you have to look at where are we coming from, what have we done for the country? People say. What is your qualification or what have you done for the country? I would say, well, for the last 20 years, hmm. I've been representing Nigeria and the black world All right. to the international community. Okay. I have been bridging the gap, showcasing what needs to be done, driving investment into this country, yet I'm not in government but outside government. And for me, everything is about Nigeria. What do we do to make it better and greater? Very good, Ali. Now, there's been move currently to have uh, Nigerians in diaspora, you know, be part of the political uh, voting process. And uh, that's an inclusive, uh, all-inclusive gesture on the part of government so far. So what do you make of that? Nigerians outside should also be able to contribute. It should be an easy thing. I've mm. been campaigning for this for the last 10 years, at least, as right. a former chairman, of, of course, of the Nigerian diaspora. Okay. We have fought for it in the 2014 uh, National Conference, whereby I finally, through my presentation, individualist presentation, two okay. people were in, uh, included in that national conference mm. that represent the diaspora. All right. And it's going to be easy. Really, the constitution, all they have to do is 70, uh, I think 77 2B, mm -hmm. just to change it, allow the diaspora to vote. Simple. We can start with the Nigerian embassies across the world. All right. You can be selective. Okay. And all they have to do is go with their Nigerian passport, and vote. Now, they're talking about which state. Every Nigerian that is outside the country has a state of origin somehow. Mm. All I need to do is just put the state so that then you know that box, that vote, belongs mm. to that state presidential candidate. Mm. It's simple as that. Very good. Now, we're seeing an emergence of younger aspirants towards the 2019 uh, uh, polls. Well, you might argue that they have a Herculean task in that regard uh, to make an impact. But I've interviewed quite a number even in the studio. So what do you make of that development, that real, you know, uh, an emergence of I, just I young people? I think the emergence is basically that uh, it's other Nigerians really do feel that they're tired of the, of the so-called change or the so-called transformation. Okay. And people feel that they can offer a better option. Mm -hmm. and, but the opinion poll is saying the younger generation or the youth are saying they want to be involved in the policies of the country. Okay. Nevertheless, as I said, if you're not standing, you cannot be considered. If your name is not on the ballot paper, paper you can never be elected. Okay. So there is a drive, and my prayer is that the youth can converse or come together collectively mm -hmm. and make a presentation. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm seeing here is you're going to have as much as maybe three to four mm -hmm. professional pro career politicians mm -hmm. against a younger, non-professional career politician. Mm -hmm. I feel... This is a strategy, mm. but the younger generation can definitely win, subject to mm. that we have more than 60% of mm. the electorate mm. belonging to that group. 
And the fact of the matter is, somebody can always return the 10 million votes because these are hardcore followers, but we're going to have, a, already we have about 74 million electorate that have registered to vote. Mm. Some that are registering as of today mm. are registering to change the government, mm. not to keep the government in motion. Very good, changing the government. Now, um, politics usually is all about numbers at the end of the day. Sure. Now, are there plans uh, by your group uh, to team up with other younger aspirants, the Mogalus, the Shawares and co, I'm sure you've been hearing about mm -hmm. them as well. So what do you make of that? Well, last Tuesday at the Musa Air Address Center in Abuja was an Imagine Political Summit debate, mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of. And with due respect to them, mm -hmm. I volunteered to, to captain the whole team that way there. Okay. Because I feel that there's no doubt that we really need to come together. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's not about do or die, I fear. Mm -hmm. It's about my country, Nigeria, right. which I'm passionate, which I have been representing for the last two decades, mm -hmm. as young as I look. Yeah. But that is what I have been doing. We, I believe we have the energy, we have the drive, we have mm -hmm. the innovation, we have the creativity, we have the technology right. that can drive Nigeria to the next level. We're not just giant of Africa by landslide. Mm -hmm. We should be giant of Africa in almost everything, especially now we're talking about technology. Mm. So I see no fear in it. What I can believe is that Nigeria definitely, in terms of democracy, mm. we have strengthened the democratic principle in Nigeria just by us joining that political era. Very good. Now, on a last note and a brief note as well, Nigeria's socio-political challenge is quite numerous. You and I know that. So what are your main priorities if elected? Yes. That's my priority. It's huge. <laughs> yes. And yes, basically stand for youth, All right. economy, education, mm. energy, our elders, enterprising, which is agriculture, health and the rest, right. mm. respect for our elders. But among all these things, you must have ex expertise, mm. you must have experience, and we will now enforce every law, every policy mm. that, uh, that b belongs to Nigerian people mm -hmm. under the Nigerian constitution. Mm. You can have a good economy, good education, good, all this thing, beautiful, laid down, without security, which is the last S to make it yes, you cannot have a good life. So we make sure that everything that we outline, if there is time, we explain, but to enjoy all this thing, you need good security system in the country. 